Hello, Munir Ajam. Ah, uh, I was recording this video and halfway something went wrong, so I'm having to record again. Uh, so hopefully it will be okay. And uh, in the previous video we talked about maturity and project closure and we mentioned the concept of lessons learned. So uh, in this video we'll focus on lessons learned. Uh, the question often comes in after how do we do lessons learned? And what will be the best way of doing lessons learned? And in the past, I have been exposed to companies, let's not, not mention names, that basically require the project team to document lessons learned. Good. But is that what we really need? Uh, lessons learned obviously are important and we need to make sure we really learn these lessons. So documenting lessons learned so they can accumulate in database and it looks nice that look, we have 10, 15, 20,000 lessons learned. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, it's really good, but I don't like numbers. Uh, we are not, I'm not impressed with accumulating numbers. I would rather have 10 extremely valuable lessons learned that we use rather than a thousand lessons learned that's sitting in a database forgotten. So uh, let's talk about lessons learned and how do we do lessons learned. Obviously first, what is the lessons learned? To me, it's that any time you are working on a project and you end up with, wow, aha, what's going on? Uh oh, we should have done this. Anytime you have this emotion that you may might want you to sing or dance or maybe even cry, that is a good chance that means you just discovered a lesson. Hopefully you learned the lesson and you are willing to share it with others, good, bad, or ugly. So a lesson is learned anytime you run into an issue, a challenge, a problem, and uh, you reflect back and say, hmm, I, this is something we have learned, we could have done it differently or we should have done differently, whatever the case might be. So this is by default would classify that issue or challenge or opportunity you face, obviously as a lesson, maybe it was a risk, whatever, the, uh, again, whatever you wanna call it. Now, how or when do we document lessons learned? We document lessons learned, you know, PMI, ISO will tell us at the end of every phase and at the end of the project. Okay, agree, good, not enough. What do I mean? Well, if the project is small and you know you have three or four people working and maybe every stage is maybe a week or two or three or a month, okay, yeah, by the end of the month, we should be able to remember maybe what some of the lessons learned that happened. And we, if only three or four or five people working on the project, they can sit over coffee, you know, a cappuccino and a cup of tea, uh, and then they can discuss and they come up with lessons learned. Yeah, however, in many projects, stages could last for months, people could come and go. Um, things, uh, if you're getting old like me, maybe we forget things. Um, so I, obviously what we say is that, look, formally, maybe to have a session that's called lessons learned, you wanna do it at the end of every stage. Okay, fine, that's good, not bad. However, lessons learned should be documented, identified on the spot. Once you find out that you have just learned a lesson, it's the time to document it using whatever form, procedure, guideline that your company or organization have, uh, and do two things. So document it, document the issue, the challenge, the lessons you've learned, and then do two things. One, add it to the database that the company has, and share it with the organization because maybe some other project can benefit from it immediately. So this is, uh, we talked, we define the lessons learned and what is the lesson? We define when we do it and what we said, we should identify it on the spot and capture it on the spot and maybe at the end of the stage or the project we can summarize them. All right, good. What else? Well. What are some of the potential pitfalls with lessons learned? Well, one of them is the organization culture. If the organizational culture is competitive and look at errors and mistakes as an opportunity to penalize people or to stop their growth 
or not to give them a good raise or not to promote them, obviously people will hide their mistakes and will only highlight maybe others mistake or some of the minor stuff. Nobody gonna go deep into some of the major error that happened on the job. Therefore, which is extremely difficult, is important to try to work in organization culture where it empower people and provide safety zone to allow people to speak and to engage and to share their lessons and what the mistakes they are made in order not to repeat them in the future. Because if we're gonna penalize people, people will hide their errors, people will hide their problem, people they hide their lessons, and we end up repeating them again and again and again, and that become extremely costly to the organization. Therefore, we need to provide that safe haven where we have give the opportunity for people to be open and honest and direct about the lessons they learned, bad or good. Obviously good, people will probably have no problem sharing, but maybe on the good lessons, people don't feel like they need to be shared. No, you need to share the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's a potential pitfall, the organization culture, which is not something small, as much something, of course, much bigger than it sounds it would be. What else related to the lessons learned that we have to document? Well, again, years ago when I was talking to this organization that they said we every project must document lessons learned, uh, and they actually put that as a performance indicator in their uh, in their organization performance, I said, that's not necessarily good things to do. And the question said, why? We need to document lessons learned. Well, if you document lessons learned and nobody uses, it's like you put a candle in a dark room and nobody is in the room. The, the, the candle would be uh, uh, consumed totally, giving lights, where nobody sees the light, nobody has a benefit, nobody gets that benefit. So the idea of the lessons learned is that to use them. So instead of mandating on people to document lessons learned, which is good, I need, we need that, I'm not saying we don't want to do that, I would love to see organization mandate on their project manager, yeah, when they start working on a new project, to document things related to lessons learned. How? What, what am I saying here? Well, if we document lessons learned from past project and we code those lessons learned by project type, uh, by project phase or stage, by discipline, by type of error or lessons that we've learned, we put these codes and the organize or tags, maybe, maybe is a better word now people know tagging from Facebook and LinkedIn and all of this good stuff then technically when we end up having three, four thousand, uh, three, four hundred or one thousand lessons learned, obviously when every project start, no project manager and project management team will have the time to go review, review one thousand lessons. However, let's say uh, you are assigned as a project manager on a new project to do X, Y, Z, okay? Uh, then ideally, or let's say it's IT project or a facility project, then ideally what you want, you want to go into the database and you can do a search, okay, I want to extract all the lessons related to this type of project. Good. Maybe out of a thousand lessons, you might end up with a hundred. Then I want to look at all the lessons related to feasibility. Excellent. Then out of the hundred, I might end up with 20 or 15. And then I will say, I want to look at those that are related to cost or to schedule or to risk then you will end up maybe with three or five lessons. Uh, or even if you have the feasibility stage. So before, as you are project manager, as you are planning the feasibility stage work, you are starting a new stage and you start to develop the plan for that stage, I would like to mandate, and yes, mandate, require, you as a project management team, manager and your team, to review all the lessons learned from all the historical project before that are related to the type of project you are working on and uh, related to the phase or stage you are working in. And let's say there are 10 lessons learned and you might read them and say, you know, you might be so good that you know them all. <claps> Wonderful. No action. Yeah. Or you might find that one of those or two or three that includes something you did not think about 
And therefore, what you would do is that in your plan, you would document, yeah, you or you try to, uh, you put some measures, some conditions, some step, uh, ideas in order to minimize or to eliminate those lessons that happened on previous project. So, how can we mandate project manager and project team to do this? Well, with every plan, we can have a section in there that document, yeah, document your review of the lessons learned. It could be two sentences maybe, which says that we reviewed 20 lessons and we knew of them all, no problem. Great, you can cheat, you can lie, you can hide information, you probably don't review any lesson and you put that statement. Well, up to you. But now the organization should do it. And if your project fall into the trap of uh, running into a problem that we have lessons learned documented on it, shame on you. Have a good day.